Very good morning my friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, I just hope you guys understand that uh, I'm doing this video at 4.12 a.m. morning here in Dubai time. I just woke up a few minutes ago and before even having breakfast I, just, I decided that I just want to make this video because it's important to follow up what happened since the last weekly analysis posted on last Saturday. Now, Going to the EURUSD, if you remember from the last video I posted, I said EURUSD, I really doubt that it will even reach my entry point. And that is exactly what happened. We can see the continuation and the rising for the EURUSD. As I mentioned, that is because of the weakness of the US dollar, because these uh, cases numbers of uh, the pandemic, of the, I mean, the, of the COVID-19, uh, they are not even recovering at all, sadly. Uh, they are still increasing there and that has actually really affected the US dollar. So the US dollar has kept, sorry, the Euro USD has kept rising all the way and right now it has hit the take profit level given in the weekly analysis video. So now what is next? Now if we go, to, let me just delete this old one. Now by moving to the uh, daily candles, what we can see right here actually is if we draw a trend line like that, we can see that the Euro USD has actually made the breakout from that resistance. That being said, uh, after the hit of the previous resistance level right here, what is going to happen next, you, in my opinion, uh, from technical view, EURUSD is right now going to reverse a little bit, uh, retest the broken resistance trend line, and then, sorry, uh, yeah, the broken resistance trend line to create a new support trend line, and it's going to continue rising all the way to hit that previous resistance on 1.1470. Now, go back to the 4-hour chart we can see that the pair is actually uh, reversing right now I think by the end of the video is gonna finish the reversal and is gonna uh, make the retest so however just to be sure and uh, I don't want to delay posting the signal um, let me just tell you something that we are having right here the nearest week to the breakout candle therefore I'm gonna set this as our new entry point for the Euro USD so we can again buy the pair at 1.13815. Now for the safe zone, the safe zone is actually gonna be ranging at the bottom of that support level like that. Because the pair actually might fall a little bit more, hit that previous resistance level right here on 1.13510 uh, zero before it continue the rise. So the safe box is going to be ranging for almost uh, 57 pips. Actually, I, actually, we can reduce that a little bit like that. All right. And let's draw the box itself. All right. So there goes our new signal for the Euro USD. And again, uh, the take profit level should be actually the top of that resistance level right here at 1.14885. That is going to be, my friends, our new take profit level. So all in all, uh, the pair is still rising. We just wait. To, uh, we need to wait for the right moment to actually start buying it again. Now, looking at the pound USD. Uh, for the pound USD, as we can see, uh, the daily candles, we had this doji candle, which actually look like a pin bar. If we go to the four hour chart, we can see that the pair has actually uh, it actually was ranging inside inside the safe box and it has exceeded a little bit. Uh, what you are seeing right here right now is very, a very good example of what I'm saying to you. I'm telling you always you need to close this trade in a loss only if you see actually a bearish breakout, breakout candle that has actually closed below that level. What happened here, this candle did not close below that level. It just went right here to retest that support level and then started the rise actually my friends in forex uh, you cannot decide the the loss unless you are actually seeing uh, the final price action sadly something happening something happening here um, when someone actually uh, plays a trade and he see the candles go against him and still goes against him he doesn't realize that there is a chance that the market is making an attempt on the support level and eventually the four hour candle might actually close as a pin bar a lot of people actually missing this point they just see the candle going against them and still going and still going 
and he just decided okay okay i need to close it with a loss i don't see any hope for this one i'm telling you please give it a chance wait for the candle to close before you decide that is exactly what happened right here anyway uh pound usd is right now after being ranging for uh, almost more than 81 pips uh in loss sadly i mean yeah i mean some people actually might not take this amount of loss uh the trade has not been triggered exactly on the level i given however right now it is reversing and i think the pound usd uh, currently is going in almost uh, 16 17 pips of profit and it's gonna continue the rise yes uh the entry point maybe was not the best um however th these things can happen actually so let me just uh, adjust uh, the entry level for the pound usd actually the pound usd right now let me go to the one hour chart pound usd should be now uh, good for the buy so we can keep the signal running for the pound usd and the target is actually gonna be the same so honestly speaking for the e pound usd nothing has been changed please keep the thread running most likely the pair is gonna now continue rising now looking at the AUD USD uh, uh, the pair has also reversed immediately without reaching our entry point it has reversed, uh, reversed almost 13 pips before touching it however uh, the analysis itself was correct and the pair on daily candles we can see that it's gonna continue the rise all the way to hit the resistance level uh, 0.70678 so now what's gonna happen with the AUD USD from my point of view? Uh, let me just uh, delete the old signal, and let me just tell you that we can start again buying the AUD USD for those who have missed uh, the entry of the signal after the retest of that broken resistance level right there. The pair right now is ranging on that resistance on 0 0.6934. It's gonna, in my opinion, fall a little bit more, uh, retesting the broken resistance, and then gonna continue the rise. That being said, um, for the AUD USD, let me just again uh, select uh, the safe box along with the entry point. So that's gonna be our new safe box for the entry, like that. And for the buy, we can start again buying the pair as 0 0.69717. Uh, keep, uh, let's keep the same take profit level. I think in eventually by the end of the week, actually before that maybe i think on thursday the pair might actually reach that point uh giving us approximately and hopefully 90 pips of profit a uh, usd cad usd cad if you remember my friends i have drawn this resistance trend line and we can see that the pair has reversed immediately or exactly from that level of the resistance trend line so the sell area hasn't been reached as well therefore let's fix the signal right now uh usd cad is in a bearish momentum and i believe it's gonna fall all the way to hit our take profit level so everything is going well so far with the usd cad um those who have missed this entry uh, let me just uh, delete this one as well uh, we can actually wait for another attempt because right now uh, the pair is somehow re retesting the broken resistance on 1.36006 uh, uh, there is a slight chance that the pair actually might make one more attempt on the resistance trend line before it continue the fall so let me just uh, give you the exact level where we can start again shorting the USD cat for those who have missed uh, the signal it's exactly right here uh, on 1.36276 and for the safe box, let me just, uh, oh shit, hold on, exactly, yes, yeah, that's fine, all right, I'm just trying to s uh, to draw for you the safe box, that's gonna be ranging for, all no, that's too much, um, okay, like that, perfect, that should be fine, actually, I really don't think the pair is gonna be able to exceed that level of the resistance trend line therefore the safe box is gonna be ranging for only 33 pips uh, that no more actually because I don't think this is gonna uh, be happening if the pair has exceeded that resistance tr uh, uh, trend line level it means it's gonna continue the rise and uh, honestly speaking with the weakness of the US dollar I highly doubt that this, this is gonna happen so uh, USD CAD is uh, still good for the short at um, 1.36245 uh, 
and as I said our uh, safe box is gonna be ranging for almost 33 pips uh, hopefully it won't even reach it and I think it's gonna be a good deal for those who are gonna short the USD CAD it's gonna give at least 100 uh, pips of profit now going to the USD GPY USD GPY has also did not reverse exactly at the level I have given as you can see the pair kept rising all the way and it was retesting the resistance level on 107.390 I just want to be sure just want to be sure actually no it was the resistance on 107.445 um, we can see that the pair has actually made not only one but two attempts on that resistance level uh, right now what we can see here is a head and shoulders pattern on the USD GPY and by seeing that we can expect now from the pair to continue the fall the pair really didn't rise a lot I mean against our signal it just went for I think almost 30 pips uh, that's I mean that's not uh, a lot of uh, pips and we can see right now it's ranging on that level so that being said also let's now uh, adjust the signal for the actually you know something i don't need to adjust anything uh the usd signal usd gpy signal is still valid as it is um if you have the sell order opened from that point on 107.101 please keep the thread running most likely usd gpy is gonna uh, follow uh, follow the the analysis and continue the fall now checking the USD CHF. USD CHF also did not reach our entry, our sell area. And uh, let me just be sure. Yeah, it reversed just like. Oh come on, man! Three pips only. It reversed just three pips before reaching my sell point. However, uh, the pair started reversing already. And um, let's see where we can exactly short the USD CHF again, if in case we have missed this signal. So let me just delete that let's go to the one hour chart now uh, seeing the pair on USD CHF has actually reversed on that previous support level we can expect from the pair to actually retest the broken resistance right here on 0 0.94115 uh, that's gonna be our new level to start shorting the USD CHF just in case we have missed uh, the signal and we can actually set a huge uh, safe box gonna be ranging only for 20 pips no more i mean that's actually one of the reasons i really don't like usd chf honestly speaking uh, a small reversal can or not uh, or actually um if you aiming at least 20 pips it's gonna be really uh lasting for a long time because you need a big reversal i mean i hope you get my point anyway uh, we can start again shorting the USD CHF in case you guys have missed uh, the signal uh, sell for the USD CHF at 0 0.94311 and that's gonna be our safe box like that uh, on the 4 hour chart exactly like this and for the take profit level it's gonna be just the same as mentioned in the weekly analysis video which is on, on that support level uh, hopefully gonna be reached after almost 80 pips of profit now let's check the gold the gold has also reversed just like I think th okay uh, 38 pips before it reached my entry point and as we can see the gold has continued the rise now what's gonna happen next with the gold let's go to the daily candles and by the way let me just delete all of these um, we need to see it clearly all right now the gold is also ranging at that resistance level like that right here all right now the gold it's not like the other pairs my friends I mean um, we cannot really do anything with the pair unless we see a, a breakout happening from that resistance line uh, let me just uh, tell you something here right now it's difficult to give any signal for the gold and the reason is if we draw here a resistance trend line like that now what we can see is that the gold is actually ranging it's still there on the top of that resistance trend line so now we are having two scenarios for the gold scenario number one 
if the gold has actually made the break out from that resistance trend line it's gonna rise all the way to hit that previous resistance on 1814.80 and then gonna fall for the retest of the pair and for sure it's gonna continue the rise scenario number two is it's gonna reverse from that point and won't make the breakout and it's gonna fall down all the way to hit that previous support level and then my, it might actually make another make another attempt for the rise the only thing uh, the weakness or oh, sorry the weak point of uh, scenario number two is that the gold right now is rising because of the weakness of the dollar that's why i really don't see any way how this can actually uh, reverse at this moment but still uh, we have to ex expect everything in forex therefore let me do something right now let me move to the 30 minute time frame and give the analysis right now on the 30 minute time frame we can actually have a good entry only if we see the gold has actually made the reversal and it went all the way down to retest the broken resistance level which was also a key support level in the past then from that point we can actually start buying the pair again sadly as I told you uh, we cannot give accurate signal right now for the gold actually looking at the 30 minute time frame I think there is a chance for a reversal it might actually reverse we can see now there is a red candle appearing and therefore I really cannot give you the, the signal to start buying the pair right away again I'm telling you there is a slight chance it might continue the rise however uh, for the safety of the members I really cannot do that let me just uh, do something else uh, let me just give the signal to start buying from that level yes that's more convenient uh, which, which was also a strong support in the past and also right here it was a strong support and we can see that it was also a resistance of course that's not enough we need to be sure let me draw a Fibonacci retracement and oh yeah we can see that the pair uh, or the level I'm giving it was actually Fibonacci level 50 therefore yes we can expect from the pair to rise a little bit like that sorry to fall uh, to hit uh, Fibonacci 50 and then gonna continue the rise therefore the new signal for the gold is gonna be to the buy at the level 1804.77 and if that happens we can set our target to be exactly at the top of the resistance so we can look for another 113 pips uh, of profit take profit level is gonna be on 1818.03 so uh, again uh, me as extreme trader uh, we don't take any responsibility for these signals we are just doing the technical analysis based on our own strategy and my own style however uh, please be extra careful and caution when you are trading these signals because the market right now is really not safe at all due to the COVID-19 uh, condition so please so pandemic not condition so please guys be extra careful pay attention to the news any news about the oil or the gold or the or if Mr. Trump has made any tweet, it actually might change this whole signals. So please pay attention to the news. Keep your eyes open on it. And yeah, in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.